So we are in Iron County, South Southwest Utah. We're a very, very small town, but we have a huge heart. We're a farming community, a lot of national parks. I have tourists that come in and I can hear them and say, this town has a hydroponic garden. They're amazed, amazed. When you see the kids' faces when they see the hydroponics, they just light up. They can't believe they grow that food. They can't believe they did it themselves. They're just alight with joy. I think a big thing is that people in Utah often don't have access to fresh food year-round. I think a lot of the small communities are food deserts. So kind of just showing people that you can have access to fresh foods if you know how to grow it yourself. Also, 90% of Utah is in an extreme drought right now. So trying to find another way to grow food without using as much water, and hydroponics uses 95% less water than normal farming. So it just seemed like a great opportunity to bring something new and teach the students of Utah and communities new skills, how to grow food sustainably, how to use less water. So we're not just putting up a hydroponic system to be putting it up for something new and fancy in the library. It really is addressing one, a need in the community that we have found. But it goes so much further, partnering with the schools to learn about nutrition and healthy eating, the importance of collaboration, the library being a place that they can work with all of these farmers, grocery stores, families, our goal now is to not only work with the community, but work and bring the library to the conversation of the bigger needs of the state and bring them to the table. And in turn, letting people see what libraries really can do for their communities, given the chance at that local level when you do some innovative thinking on what is possible. Right now, I have cherry tomatoes on the top level, and then I have butter crunch lettuce, dill, and cilantro on the bottom level, and then I have lavender and sweet basil. I had no idea that plants grew that fast. For this to bring home lettuce and whatnot within weeks, and it's delicious, you know, the produce is actually very, very good. So every time I harvest the garden, I make individual sacks with produce in it that's labeled, and when the public comes and check out a book, they get to pick a bag of produce. And I'll make a joke Thank and say, you. if you're out of a bookmark, just use one of our lettuce leaves as a bookmark, and they think that's just hilarious. So libraries, they're not just a place to check out books anymore. They're a community gathering site, and they're a place to learn new skills and bring people together. So hydroponics just adds to that.